Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I am here to make two cards with you. One is for my stash and one is going to be for a special little miss in my life whose birthday is next week. Oh, I haven't got earrings on today. There you go. I'm, my earlobes are naked and I am using, hello Miss Alicia, the Leave a Little Sparkle stamp set. Hey Jeannie, hey Pam. So this is a gift she's getting in her little package of things that I'm doing up for her. And yay, Shelly, you did make it at the beginning. I'm so happy. Um, and I've got a whole little swag of things that I've got her and I just need to cut some card fronts and pop them in in all the brights colours. Hey, Betty. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Vicky. Thank you for joining. So I haven't got a card made that I'm recreating. Yeah, long time no see. And I might see you again this week. It's a bit scary, all this us seeing each other. Um, yeah, so I have... Oh, no. Hold on, let me get my second screen up. And let me see if it's me or you. Because I can always change my internet. Hello, Miss Rosalie. I hope you're feeling better today. Um... I appear to be seeing myself okay. So I'm assuming it might be you. Yeah, I just got up my second screen to check. So I don't know if you're watching on your phone, close down Facebook. You don't see comments, Vicky. Have you swiped one way to get rid of your comments? And pairing with the Leave a Little Sparkle, we have stamp and write markers. So no one can see comments. I can see comments on my computer and I can see comments on my live stream. I will check my iPad for you all if I've got any charge left in it. You see comments fine, right. I don't, you guys are all having issues today. I will quickly check this, then I'll flick around because, you know, time is on for the essence. Hey, Margaret, thanks for joining. Um, here. Have stamp and write markers. Oh, sorry. Hey, Margaret, mm. thanks for joining. Um, I don't know how to put myself on mute. Have stamp and write markers. Oh, sorry. Essence. Right, there we go. Facebook issues. That's right. Hello, Miss Julie. Um, I actually can't see comments on my iPad either. Just putting it out there. I can't see comments. So I'm sorry for anyone who can't see comments. Maybe change your device is my only thing. So I am going to flick myself around and get making because I only have a half half-baked plan in my head so weather report because you all ask we actually had frost this morning we had ice where well, um our garbage bin didn't get emptied yesterday and our son refused to move it for my husband because it had ice on it at half past seven in the morning yeah i had that on mine too um, now let me flip around, make sure we're all lined up-ish. Oops, sorry, flick myself back. That helps if I'm lined up-ish. Okay, I think I'm lined up-ish. I'm seeing everything fine on my second screen, guys. So I'm assuming it's a Facebook issue. I do humbly apologise. Um, hopefully the replay will be better. Hey, Chrissy. Yeah, got to love Facebook. I was cursing them the other day for changing something that I do like every day. Hey, Tanya. You're having major heat. Well, I'll turn off the overhead light. Just give me a sec. Here at the end of winter, we're actually getting proper winter weather. 
And I mean, we normally don't get big icy frosts. Oh, unicorns, Jamie, absolutely. Fun and unicorns. Um, yeah, so we're getting proper, proper wintry weather, which is fun, I think. I think it's fun. I didn't go out until the sun had been out for a while. I had a jacket on, but it is actually a beautiful day outside. So there's like beautiful sunshine. It was just flipping freezing this morning. Okay, so I'm going to make two of these. So one's probably not going to be really awesomely amazing. And the other one's going to be okay. Yes, I will use the other side of this piece of paper. It should work. Because there are two sides to a piece of paper besides that smudge. Okay, so I am going to be using our Sparkle Black Embossing Folder. And we're going to be using just the unicorn's head. Because I've already made a card using the dancing unicorn, I want to say definitely want to say it's a dancing unicorn now um foretelling the future i don't know um julie people may not reply because they're all having issues with their comments on their ipads and i was too but i just happened to use my laptop for comments because it's more reliable and I don't need to keep touching the screen. So I have just used my embossing buddy to get rid of the static and the static on the paper. So when I pour my embossing powder on, it won't stick to my fingerprints and everything like that. Using my Versamark ink pad. Oh, sorry for making a bit of a commotion there. because that's the first, this is rather the first time I have used this ink pad I used a lot of ink now that actually stamped up really nicely so I'm going to pop in and pop the other one up here so I have room to cut later now I just happen to have a tray for my embossing powder. Oop. This is our sparkle embossing powder that has um, glitter built in, but it's really fine rainbow glitter. So I'm trying to be super duper neat and try and get most of this powder back in the pot. Oh, look at that. There are only four black embossing powder. I have like four little bits that I need to try and remove. Now, if I spin my spinner here, where is my nice little... Oh, oh it's gone hiding. It's okay, I'll use this one. So I really just have one there. One there, one there, and one there. That's it. Now, I'll try and show you how much it sparkles even before I've melted it. So you can see how much it sparkles. I am going to turn on my heat tool to heat up before I start melting. And I will pop the lid on my black embossing powder, this black sparkle embossing powder, because that it could be very, very dangerous. It did come out great, Kathy. I'm actually very, very happy. Okay, so what I have found recently is if I heat the back first, I tend to get better results. I feel like I'm doing this with the wrong hands. I'll swap it over. Oh my dear word. Discombobulated today. So what you want to do is heat it until it's shiny. 
Try not to burn your hand while you're doing it because that's always helpful in the overall crafting experience. Now we've already preheated from the back so it's actually not taking long to melt it all. And if you ever um, if you ever emboss and there are some powdery pieces, it's not melted. And don't try and melt too much because then the embossing powder melts into the paper and it goes all dull. Oh, you're back on your laptop. Is this just with glitter powder? So this is, uh, let me grab it there. It is the Shimmer Black Stampin' Emboss Powder. So it's in the current annual catalog and we've got the black and we have the white version as well. So because we are going to be doing some colouring and I've only made a couple of little smudges on my new mat. We'll put a mat under this. Now I've got out some colours. I've got out Mella Mambo, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Daffodil Delight, Mango Medley and Pacific Point. So yes, let's see how we go. Yay! I'm so glad. Yes, stop as soon as it gets shiny. Move on. Um, that's all powders. When I did my big uh, project, when was I doing my big project the other week for the bridal shower? Um, I found that heating from the back actually gave me a better result. So I'm going to do both bits at the same time. So I'm just choosing... A chunk of hair and I'm just going for it I'm just going for it it's handmade it's not hallmark and where this is I'm, go I'm using just the stamp and write markers just to make the process a little easier this is my thought Good evening, Miss Donna. Thank you for joining. So I'm just trying to stick with the strands of, just a couple of strands of hair. Because if we did each individual strand of hair, oh my God, we'd be here all week. And however much I love your company, I do need to do other things in my life. And I think I may add some grey shading on um, the using Stampin' Blends on the um, unicorn. So I'm just going through and doing, doing big chunks. Now I'm going to go blue, no I'm going to go orange, yay, Ka oh my god, Kathy I hope your knee replacement goes went well and they're giving you the good drugs, because I can't imagine, or oh, I've seen my dad have a knee replacement and I know it's not a fun experience. Okay, so the yellow got a little lost, but what I will do on this side of the horse's face, no, I call it a horse, it's a unicorn, we are going to use a big chunk of Daffodil Delight. Now, I have seen these coloured in many ways, and I love using bright chunky colors because the ones that I've seen use pastel colors just don't appeal to me and that's just um, that's just how I feel that those ones 
don't appeal to me and yeah so I went no when I actually color in a unicorn I'm going to go for super bright chunky color and I may even get some of our new Delicata ink and make the horn gold um, I may go green no maybe I want to do no, I just want to get a colour that, you know, not getting colours that are next to each other. It's very hard choosing your colours. And I'm trying to follow where the hair is. So this hair goes under that hair. Oh, don't forget my top one as well. So this hair goes under that hair. And I love that it's a curly haired unicorn because, you know, I'm doing the whole curly hair natural thing at the moment. So it works well. Okay. And this one. So you can see I'm using bigger chunks of hair and that's actually not taking very long at all to colour. So you can sort of see that this bit and this bit could be one bit and they've just parted them. Go, oh good, awesome Jamie. Or I could, I can put my hand probably more easily on the copper that I brought up to your place the other day. Um, might go some purple now, my favorite color. So I'm having my nails done on Monday and I don't know what color I'll go. Isn't that really sad? I don't know whether I'll go pink or purple. Oh, keep on forgetting the other one. So what do you think of the colouring just with the markers? Because it's so busy, it's, um, I thought just taking it in rainbow chunks might be the best thing. Uh, I am going to on stage. I am one of the very lucky demonstrators who get to register early. Oops, I've used the same colour again. Can you tell which colours I like? I love this mango medley. Oh, now what colour haven't I used? Pink. Need to red nails. Oh, I'm not a red kind. I'm red at Christmas. I'm red at Christmas and that's pretty much it. So I'll do like red for Christmas, New Year kind of week and that's it. Oh my D word, I just got a big finger smudge. I don't even know where that came from. That pink, putting that pink there actually works really, really well because it looks as though the fringe has been parted. Thank you, Julie. Now, if anyone out there isn't a demonstrator and wants to know what on stage is that we're talking about, um, it is a demonstrator only convention. So at the moment, um, registration is on the 20th and in the South Pacific, we have an event in Perth, Sydney and Auckland, where I was in April. So which will be heaps and heaps of fun. Now, there is an amazing joining special at the moment. So it's a great time to join because you can register for on stage, you can um, order from the upcoming holiday catalogue and you get extra in your kit and a, um, and a coupon to spend next month as well. So there are like three or four reasons to, that's fair enough Shelley. Um, there are like three or four reasons to join up at the moment. Like 
It's just ridiculous. <gasps> no, 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 no. I just saw something. Okay. I just saw where that hair was coming from. Mm. There we go. Now, this hair is coming out over there. I don't even know why I'm putting back on these lids, girls. Seriously. Doing my own head in. Okay. That's a little better. Um, now, green for this one. I love that I've taken it in bigger chunks. Because I was wondering how I was going to colour it myself. And the bigger chunks are definitely working better in my brain and there's a little little curl coming down here i've decided my um pacific point is a tad dry so i'll have to put some i put a drop of re on this uh, tip to rehydrate my markers because i noticed using them recently that a lot of them are dry but that's okay. Um, oh, I didn't colour all this green one at the top. And then I think I will finish with a purple streak down here. And it's done. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's probably not the favourite that I've seen. But I'm also not a fantabulous colourer because of my hand issues. So, I'm just doing what I can. And that's all we can do, right? Is just do what we can. I need to add, might even add a strip of blue there. May even go to my, no, that one's not going to work. That's too fine. Okay, now, what colour do we do the flowers in the hair? Oh, I'm so, I apologise for my husband groaning. Apparently he's turned into a really old man and groans when he gets up. Everyone heard you, David. He's not even listening. I'm going to do the flower centres in the mango medley because that kind of works. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to do flirty flamingo. Um, April, okay, Shelley, I don't know if you know. April will not be an on stage as we know it. They will be locally led, um, locally led demonstrator events in very local areas. So it will only be a couple of hours long. Just so you're aware of what they're going to look like in April. It's not... There's only going to be a larger on stage every November because it works with the end of the Stampin' Up! year. So big one in November. Um, our demonstrator development managers will run the April ones. And then um, that is how it's working for the next little bit. Okay. Now, I am going to cap that. So I've only added floaty flamingo to the flowers in the hair. Although I wished I'd gone something different, but we can't change that now. And I am, for ease of use, going to grab out my light smoky slate. And just add in some shadowing on on the horse here so 
so some shadowing under the hair and if I grab my colorless blender we will fade the edges out hmm, that is not maybe quite working as I wanted it but maybe it is okay right we'll see how that one dries and let's just go ahead and do the other one so using the stamp and right markers you can see is actually quite a quick process so it's not terribly long which is good because it lets it gives me some time to do some lovely kind of colouring without um yes me too Shelley that's my favourite thing is meeting my friends which is why I took my craft day on Tuesday because I met my friend well I saw my friend from Darwin I've met her many times even shared a bed at one of the events um, and I met a new friend from Victoria which was lovely and thank you Jamie for hosting yep best time ever we had on Tuesday okay so that is those done so I don't know where I am on the timer uh, where am I so they took about let's say 15 minutes to do after I did all my fiddle faffing around and now I want to cut these out oh no we forgot the horn hold on hold on okay so this is our Delicata Golden Glitz ink and I'm going to find that blend pen that I had okay this is our stamper, our blender pen, and I actually had this on Tuesday because I was going to do something a bit special. Oh my god, Julie, you are multitasking at the highest. So this Delicata Metallic ink is coming out in the upcoming holiday catalogue and I need to find my scissors because they are very well packed okay is that done yeah. right it's open with a bit of manhandling so I'm going to try something first so I'll just bring in my scrap piece of paper just going to use the edge oh that transfers really nicely okay so I'm just going to use the edge so I don't contaminate the pad but basically this is a pen that you can use to color with and it's sort of in between water coloring um, and your markers so you can get great shading with this pen I have like color everywhere on this you can get great shading I'm not trying to get that I'm just trying to transfer this ink oh my god you should see the shimmer the gold shimmer from this it's amazing you have to be careful when coloring with this pen because if you saturate like this whisper white paper too much um, it will peel on you if Ellen does think what she's going to do I will be broke okay what what, what did you think I was going to do Rose I'm not I'm not channeling my inner rose brain at the moment and then what you do you just scribble the ink off and I will mm, I have pretty much made this my gold one and I think this one's a bit dry too which is why 
I used it. Yeah, the metallic ink is kind of sort of basically coming out. So you just give it a scribble to get it out. But it is coming out. Just because this is a pigment ink, pigment ink, it does take a little longer to come out. Okay, I think I got most of the ink out. Look at me go. Now that will be ready to, mm, not quite. You can see how well it does. Okay, uh, now where did I put the lid of that here? Oh yes, this ink has got a whole lot of uses because I was going to use it for strings for ornaments. But because I was... Yeah, it just didn't work with the card I was doing. And I will show you guys a little later what, what I pretty much succeeded to do on Tuesday. So I've used these dies with the copper ink and I will share that blog post tonight. I think it's tonight at like 10 p.m. The blog post goes live. Mm, that one kind of works. Where are my stitched rectangles? Right. I think this square is going to work the best. But we shall see. Um, Oh, actually, I really like that, but I think I'm going to have to do some splattering because I do have a bit of ink. That there. Okay, I'll do this one and see if I can squeeze out the second one. like the white space that this sized rectangle gives and I don't think I'm going to be sh be able to show you how shimmery that horn is in real life but anyway I done to do that I'm gonna to have to get some I can just get this out just 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 I can't tell you how just that is yeah you can get the ring um, it's only because I was doing that one little bit uh, that I got the ink pad but if I was doing a whole lot I would definitely use oh, can I show you how close those borders were oh my god that is I just knew what I was doing even though there was no planning involved right pop this out and I don't know how I'm going to get these clean. But anyway, because I do have a bit of... Mm, I'm going to have to clean my hands, I think. Please tell me how I'm going to integrate my splatters into the background. Because I would like to know myself how I'm going to do it. Yay! Good work, Julie. Good work. Now, out of the colours that I have used, I'm thinking I'm going to grab some Flirty Flamingo and just 
see how we go. Uh, I don't think this is a card front, so I'm just going to grab a full piece and get two cards. Even though the girl I'm giving it to isn't a pink girl, I think using a colour that I haven't already used will be a really refreshing thing. Splattered the stamp in gold ink. Yeah, but I've got coloured little splatters on the background. So... Not exactly sure. I'm loving the unicorn. Thank you. I'm pretty happy with it, to tell you the truth. I had a bit of a rough idea what I wanted to do. And you know I want to put some frost white shimmer paint over all of this to make it all shimmer okay so I'm just going to play with one for the moment and see what I want to do I sort of want to cover the background with this swirl I don't know how that's going to work I just feel the background needs some Kind of, oh, I know what I'm going to do in the background. I'm going to use some of these stars strategically placed. I love it when the stamp set gives me a way up. Love it, love it, love it. That one for that one. This one for this one. Yay! I'm so glad your pre-order has arrived. It's always exciting when you get deliveries at your door. I got boring deliveries this week. I got um, things like catalogs and a back order. It wasn't exciting. I wasn't there going, oh, yay. So that's why I didn't share anything with you guys. Because it wasn't, oh, maybe I'm thinking I might just do a border of this stamp. And that might, except for when you do that and drop it, that might be enough to bring it alive. I'm hoping so anyway. pop this back in the middle now oh yes that is enough oh I love it when things just happen now let's do this other one so one and two now I've learnt my lesson from the first one. I'm going to do the top and the bottom first and then line up my sides from there. Maybe there is going to be a touch of an overlap, but overlap doesn't matter. So, what do you think of my accidental discovery of this border? I love this corner is annoying me. So, I'm going to maybe ink up this side and just meh. It's close enough. Love, 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 love. So, do I need anything else on the front like a sentiment? 
or do I just leave sentiment for the middle because I am I cannot tell you how much I'm loving this um, I really cannot tell you because now I'm going to get the Delacumba ink and where's the other one because the colors smudging a bit up here don't matter it actually looks like I've done a brushing a brush -o. look at that oh that looks so pretty Okay, do I do think over here just need one more and I might just mm, might just cluster this corner a little more. I might do that over here too. Just put a cluster, but oh my word, this is looking just gorgeous. And I'll just put one. So I've done like three embellishment clusters, but with the stamp. Yeah, I like it without the sentiment to Donna. As I said, I had no idea where these cards were going, but then this way I can choose an appropriate birthday stamp for Miss Nine on the inside. Now because I stamped off here, this ink is already dry. Would you believe the ink on this paper isn't smudging or anything? Now I'm going to shimmer, use the frost white shimmer paint. So I've got that here and Mm, is that frost white? This is frost white. And I've got it in one of our Stampin' Spritzes with some rubbing alcohol. Okay, that is all shook up. And I'm just going to spray the backgrounds. Get my little splat box. And because it's alcohol, they won't take long to dry, which is fantastic. Hey, Jenny, thanks for joining. You've missed my super duper simple colouring of the unicorns here. And I am using a bit of Delicata Metallic Ink, which is a sneak peek into the holiday catalogue. So I'm hoping... I can put these up together and do like double duty with my spraying. Oh, I'll pull this forward a bit so you can see what's happening. Hey Chris, thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing, Jenny. Okay. Well, there was a bit of overspray there. And I just like doing lots of spraying of this because I love the effect that it gives. So, I don't think I can really show you. It's subtle. It's subtle, but in real life, there is definitely a shimmer there. And because we've already got the shimmer here, now I'm hoping... By me showing you this, you're seeing the shimmer in the embossing powder and the shine in the stars. I don't know. I don't know if you're seeing it. Hmm. Trying really hard to capture it. Hmm, hopefully. Oh, yay! Well, I just, I bought all three and I've used the gold. 
today so I'll let these dry a bit more and take that away grab my dimensionals um, my scissors a handy dandy extension of my fingers that don't really work my hands were so bad this morning I couldn't even twist up my lip gloss it was so cold my hands are terrible in winter because they get cold and they just cease working so I'm very glad for my little blow heater beside me here in the study yes can I say these are definitely worth it I have had other pigment inks before and I wasn't really impressed with them I have used I have used the copper did I use it? I used the copper to edge um, a bow for a Christmas card and it just was so easy to work with I just used a sponge dauber um, and now that I've stamped with it it's really really good and much much better than the other pigment ink that I the other metallic pigment ink that I previously owned. Ooh, yuck. Minus three. And that's only, well, I got ice this morning, Miss J. So I'm just sort of bending these back a bit. They've warped just a touch. Now, deciding, I think I want this on this one and this on this one that's horrible but we had ice so we definitely were at zero at some time this morning i was nice and toasty in bed with my electric blanket on and i currently have just a little crocheted blanket my great aunt made my kids for their cots but i've got it just on top of my doona and it's just perfect for keeping my body heat and everything just that bit further in oh but we had frost Jamie or oh, hang on I have frost where I was we had to oh yes well I don't know we definitely have frost this morning ourselves uh, that will do I don't know if it's straight or not but close enough is good enough hey oh, I love these so 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 happy with these and they are so much more simple than what I envisaged yeah 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 but you're not in the valley like I am it's actually amazing Vicky and I have very very similar weather and she's she's at the foothills of the blue mountains and i'm just in a valley and we always have very sim very very similar temperatures thank you julie well i am most happy with these but i'm sad to say i'm not giving one away because i came on to make for a very specific purpose okay so they are done now I'm going to see if I can pick up the shimmer on the background but I really don't think I'm going to I don't know I'll give it a go yeah exactly Jamie mm. I'm just seeing my second screen you can see there's a sheen so thank you Delinda look I am I'm pretty chuffed that I came out with a great card 
more than what I was kind of expecting. Now, for those of you that were wondering what I was crafting on Tuesday, I finished all these cards. So there are 46 cards here, and there's a sneak peek, and they are going out to my customers with their holiday catalogs. Oh, that's lovely. You enjoy lunch, Miss J. Oh, that's lovely. You enjoy. Hey, Wurge. Oh, thank you, Wurge. That's, I'm glad you like it. I kept it really simple and used my stamp and write markers. Really, really simple. I haven't used my just stamp and write markers for colouring in a long time. So I'm just adding my business sticker or my name detail sticker to the back. Done and done. So that is the card. I used a touch of the upcoming Delicata ink. I did use the Stampin' Blends just to do the grey of the um, the grey of the unicorn. I'm actually going to pop that there so it doesn't pop up. Um, and I used I can't find the black embossing powder. There it is. And I used the shimmery black embossing powder. Would you believe I have totally lost? I haven't and I use the stitched rectangles so I have a bit of a busy weekend coming up I'm I'm glad I came on I needed to do this project so I thought I'm oh my god the new Delicata is amazing word absolutely amazing um so yeah um yes it does shine I will take a photo and on a particular angle so you girls can see the shine. I'm really sorry. I'm totally out of focus. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on here. Totally out of focus and everything. Ah, there we go. Facebook, my friend, is back. Yes, there is definitely a metallic shine from the Delicata. Um... I don't think I will be on tomorrow because I need to do some school stuff for my son's parent committee that I'm a part of and I need to prep for a class on Sunday and I'm being very socially crafty this week. I do have a crafty day on Saturday that a friend of mine is organising so I'm going to that. So I will hopefully be I will be back next week I haven't looked at my diary to see what days work best at this stage but yeah thank you so much for joining me and I will share photos of my craft day on Saturday and I uh, definitely will be sharing I've got some blog hops that I'm a part of on uh, tonight and on Friday night so I will definitely be sharing some special projects with you oh I know they're amazing aren't they words they are so amazing so yeah thank you so much guys I appreciate the love and support and the chat and I will see you next time bye